For many years, on the fringes of historical science and anthropology, a myth has existed, supported by slight photographic and artistic evidence regarding a group of four beings present at different seminal moments throughout human history. All representations of the beings show four oddly dressed men in a ritualistic pose. They are said to have been present at events that have taken place hundreds of years apart in locations all over the globe. Few in the historical community have taken it seriously. Some say it's a road to nowhere. Some say a researcher shouldn't touch the subject. There are rumors of researchers going too far and disappearing, either going mad or being abducted by mysterious outside forces. But the recent surfacing of photos of the beings at events in modern times has once again brought the myth to the forefront for some historians. The undocumented identities of the men, coupled with the anonymous source of the photos, has sparked some unsettling debate and speculation. Could this be a harmless prank? Or are there implications for all of humanity? I was writing my dissertation on the Manhattan Project and I became infatuated with the physicist Leo Zillard, who was the one who petitioned Truman against the use of the bomb. I spent a lot of time thinking about his arguments with Oppenheimer and Groves in Zillard's kind of moral fortitude in that situation. If you read his paper on memory and recall, he mentions these four individuals over and over again consistently. And sure, there was a lot of talk about surveillance, but this was something different. What Zillard was claiming was that there was four synchronized individuals outside his home watching him. This is not your usual case of surveillance of a van or people trying to record him. This was something quite different. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with theosophism, but you must recognize the name Helena Blavatsky. There are these rumors of her in Tibet. She had just given a speech to religious leaders proclaiming that her goal was to collect and diffuse the knowledge of the laws which govern the universe. Several sources have acknowledged the presence of the four figures, possibly signing along with her as she spoke. Months later, Helena was en route to a ship to take her across the Mediterranean, when according to her coachman, they stopped a mile from the dock to observe a strange dance happening on a hill in the distance. Helena was drawn to watch, and so missed her ship. The ship sank 40 miles offshore with no survivors. Rumors say that those figures dancing up on that hill were the very same ones as were in Tibet. Okay, first of all, these photos have clearly been photoshopped. I mean, what kind of man would believe that these are authentic photographs? Especially with the immense amount of media attention paid to these events. No mention of these men ever before in our history. And look, to demonstrate, these photos were taken on the same roll of film, the same photographer, the same moment in time. The figures appear in this photograph and not this photograph. These men are just inserting themselves into photographs of momentous, dark events in our history. And it kind of makes you wonder why. It's, it's very exciting, this meteor that fell in Russia. I mean, it's, it's incredible that the word Tunguska is suddenly on the tip of the collective tongue. Vladimir Strabinsky in Siberia in 1908 dreamt of the explosion before it happened, he mentioned four figures surrounded by pigeons in front of a tower of lightning. I believe that these events are connected and I mean to find the link. Nearly two weeks after conducting these interviews, two of the historians contacted us separately to tell us about a letter they'd received, a cryptic letter describing the coordinates of a potential event and stamped with a symbol often associated with the mysterious men. We followed up with the other historians to find out that they too had received similar letters. Here is what they had to say. This is incredible. This, this is amazing. I mean, they're going to tell us the truth. I don't know what to think. I don't, I don't know. It's, I, I, I just got a bad feeling about this. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. I'll definitely be there, but I do not like to be with. 